Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for inviting me, uh, Heidi. So I'm Bill Letty, um, principal at San Francisco-based Letty Maidem Stacy Architects. Um, and I'm also currently the AIA California uh, Vice President for Climate Action and also the chair of the AI California Committee on the Environment, of which I'm delighted to have Heidi as a steering group member. Um, and um, and let this, let's go to the next. So I'm here to talk about how architects have a bigger job to, to do uh, than to simply design beautiful buildings. That's certainly important. Um, but we, we like to design, think of ourselves as, as practicing mission-driven design, which means that we like to make our buildings uh, communicate ideas that go beyond the property lines. They talk about designing for a resilient future, um, having to create buildings that model uh, uh, a post-carbon world, uh, which is quickly approaching, or should be at any rate. Um, how do we bring, how do we incorporate uh, buildings that, <clears throat> that uh, um, are, are uh, designed for everyone, uh, that architecture is fundamentally a social justice issue. Um, here's, this is a project in, in, in Berkeley called the Bert Ian Roberts Campus, which is an international center for the disability rights movement. Uh, one of the largest buildings designed um, with uh, universal design in mind. It's also about creating resilient communities. Um, and in this case, uh, a, a housing, uh, portable housing project in San Francisco for um, veterans at, at risk of homelessness and also um, families in need uh, together in a, in a building that uh, is uh, highly sustainable. It's about creating environments for uh, people who, who really need them. This is a, a model of, of new housing for adults with autism in, in Sonoma. Um, that incorporates uh, design research done into the needs of people with, on the autism spectrum. Um, but it's also a pg e net zero uh, energy pilot project. It's about adaptive reuse, um, acknowledging the fact that the most sustainable building is the one that's already built. Um, this is a adaptive reuse of an historic pier at Fort Mason, converting it into a, um, a, a college of the art for San Francisco Art Institute with an energy reduction of 83%, but most interestingly, a carbon reduction of 73%. And finally, it's about going beyond our work and uh, taking a public role in advocacy to tr make, make change beyond uh, every building, just one building at a time. So as part of the, ed, uh, the uh, um, uh, AIA California Code, we're working hard on advancing the zero code uh, for all of California. And finally, we're interested in transforming practice to um, commit to zero carbon, to contribute to environment, environmental and social equity, and to advocate for positive change. And lastly, I'd like to be, make, uh, read this one piece. Is that maybe not, not there? Not there? There it is, great. So this is uh, uh, the AIA Climate Action Plan that came out in April. One site, countless challenges, a looming deadline, seven and a half billion clients. This is the ultimate design project. This is why we're here. So thank you very much.